praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord today? Amen. I'd like to welcome everyone to New Life Pentecostal Church, where we believe that you can be rescued, redeemed, and restored. Who believes that this morning? Amen. At this time, our pastor's going to come make a few announcements. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. It is good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Uh, running through, you can scan the QR code, as you guys know. Every time you see that, you can scan it and pull up the month's announcement. I uh, also want to remind everyone that Tuesday night prayer meeting is at 7.30, and we invite you out. I encourage you to be here. Friday night, there's a prayer call that takes place on Zoom at 8 p.m. I would encourage you to get involved in it, and uh, if you want to grow in your prayer, grow in that, get involved in the prayer call. Also, youth prayer is the first Tuesday of every month, so we'll have youth prayer in a few weeks when we get into March. And then as always, help spread the word and plant the seed about our addiction recovery program that meets 7 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, on Thursday nights. Uh, today at 3 p.m. there's a trustee meeting. Uh, to be here at the church, ask trustees, please be here, be on time, don't forget about it. Also, girls' Bible study, pizza party, and cupcake bar immediately after service today. That's for the young girls. They, this is for you guys. And then boys' and girls' Bible study groups meet this Wednesday night, okay? This Wednesday night. And as always, church, we are looking for volunteers, people that are willing to serve in any way, whether it be big or small. There is a place for you to get involved. All you need to do is come, just come talk to me. Uh, live stream to Facebook, and we upload to YouTube as well. So you can share that, get that out there. Um, uh, we have, we're really starting to get a lot of people that are following our services online. Um, several people, I looked last week, and we had several different individuals that in the services are watching, people that are not here in person. That's, that's a good thing. So uh, I want to encourage people to get the word out so the gospel gets out. The Bible says if the gospel be hid, it's hid for them that are lost. And then church, I want to encourage you about giving. Amen. How many of you believe in tithes and offering? How many of you are going to obey what the word says about it? That's more than believe it. Amen. I like that. And so you can do so in the house through the envelope program the same way we've always done it. But if you'd like online giving, you can do it in gift. All right, All right church, I want to ask you to stand at this time. We're getting ready to go to the Lord in prayer. Before I bring Brother Shane up, I want to bring a few needs to the church this morning uh, so it's fresh upon our minds. First, Sister Brewer messaged me. She woke up this morning under the weather, asked that we please pray for her. So I do ask that the church lift her up in prayer. Remember the Smith family. Brother Wayne passed away. Remember their family. Uh, I want to see God do a tremendous work in that family. I believe he's going to. Amen. Amen. I, we already know that God did a work in the last few months of Brother Wayne's life. And for that, I give God praise. Uh, going around the church, uh, Sister Angie, Brother John, they're, they're not here this morning. Sister Angie had to be taken to the emergency room last night. Um, she's got an issue she's dealing with. They're trying to get it worked out. They did not get in from the emergency room until very early this morning. So church, I ask that you keep them lifted up in your prayers. They need it right now. Remember the Blevins family. It was so good to see Sister Ginger back in the house of the Lord. We've been praying for her. Amen. Her mother is in a rehab facility right now, just doing some recovery, but she does still need our prayers. Brother Tim is still uh, in the hospital recovering uh, from his, the, 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 the procedures he had, but he also, in the last few weeks, they discovered he had a stroke too. So he's battling that, and church, he needs your prayers. Amen? Also, uh, let me tell you how the devil, he likes to work. Amen? My, my, uh, my wife's uh, mother's sister, uh, Pam, I hope she's watching, uh, will watch the service. She come here a few weeks ago. The Lord touched her. It was so powerful, such a blessing to see her, uh, you know, pray in the spirit, what have you. And, and uh, she planned on coming the next week. Grandkids come over, grandkids were sick, got her sick. So, and, and the doctor's not released her until Tuesday. She told me, yes, she said, I hate missing the church. I want to be in the church. So pray for Pam Hotchkiss, 
as well. I'm so proud of what God is doing. Amen. 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 All right, church, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. I'm going to ask Brother Shane to come up and lead us in prayer. Let's greet him as he comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's good to be here this morning. How many knows what the night is? Super Bowl Sunday, right? Well, how many knows the Bible says that we're supposed to come into the Lord's house with, you know, with praise and thanksgiving? So I wonder tonight, you know, or this morning, sorry, you know, uh, it's going to be loud. It's going to be, you know, crazy at the Super Bowl. People's going to be acting crazy. But I wonder this morning if we can act crazy for Jesus. I wonder if we can actually, you know, come in today and lift up holy hands, begin to worship him and make a joyful noise unto him. You know, if the people go out and act crazy for the world, we can act crazy for Jesus and being the same, you know, be, be better off. But, you know, this morning, you know, if we, if we can go to the Lord in prayer, but, and, uh, you know, we can do that. Let's make a joyful noise today. You know, we got something to praise God for today. So, uh, you know, this prayer, you know, we're going to welcome God in today. And we're going to do that by raising our hands and, you know, kind of get loud with our prayer this morning. And let God, you know, hear our prayer. Shake the foundations of heaven. Can we do that for a few minutes today? God, we love you today, God. But we praise you, God, for this opportunity, God, to be in your house today, God. We ask you today, God, to come in, God. Lord, and begin to move in this place in a mighty way, God. We ask you, Lord, right now, God. Lord, begin to, God, to move, God, Lord, and let things happen in this place today, God. Lord, begin to, God, to stir souls today, God. Lord, Jesus, God, begin to move, God. Lord, we're here to, God, to magnify you and worship you, God. And lift up holy hands before you. Lord, and praise and clap, and God, lift our voice in our hands, God, that you will make me magnified, God, and you make me exalted today, God, in your kingdom, they will pray, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, God, we need a breakthrough today. If you need a breakthrough in your life, step you out. Hallelujah, Jesus. One, my life and my salvation. When the wicked, my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Omnipotent, almighty, defender, my victory, my refuge, the one I run to. You are the God, you are the God of the breakthrough. You are the God of the breakthrough When I can't see my way through And I really don't know what to do I look to you, breakthrough Walls crumble oh, and shout Jesus. Strong Lord, I need a breakthrough today, God so I need a breakthrough, Jesus I need a breakthrough, God Oh, we need a breakthrough today, God Are the undefeated one, my, my life, life and my salvation. When the wicked, my enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Omnipotent, almighty, defender. You're my victory, God. My refuge, God. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. When I can't see my way through. Yes, God. When I can't see my way, God. Lord, I don't know what to do, God. Lord, I'm going to look to you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Strongholds break when I pray. Break through in my 
music is going to keep playing right now. But if there is something in your soul that you need a breakthrough tonight, I can only imagine it is. I need you to look at me. Now, all eyes up here. A breakthrough happens like this. I so there's nothing going to hold me back because I'm going to break. I need joy. I'm going to break. I need peace. I'm going to break. I need love. I'm going to break through. I need victory. I'm going to break through. I need deliverance. I'm going to break through. Hallelujah. If you need a breakthrough tonight, step out of your pew. Step out of your seat and get in the aisle and get a hold to your breakthrough. Get a hold to your breakthrough. Get a hold of your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my soul. Breakthrough in my weakness. Breakthrough in my struggle. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough.
Hallelujah. We praise your name, God. Lord, we praise your name, God. Holy, holy. Father, you are. You are holy. There is no one else like you. Oh, and you are faithful, God. Faithful. Rain on us, God. Rain on us, 
into the aisles. Let's just let the Holy Ghost flow through the house this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, let somebody win. Flow through this house. Open up the heavens and pour your spirit out.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, be the praise and the glory and the honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, I praise your name. Come on, you need to lift your hands and close your eyes and focus on the Lord right now. something in the Holy Ghost this morning come on keep praying I felt something even in music practice when they were going earlier we are so professional sometimes but we forget where God brought us from we forget just how far God brought us from oh and all I could just begin to think of was glory to his name Glory to his name. Hallelujah. And I, yeah, it just come to me. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. That's all I could think about. There to my heart was the blood applied. I'm singing glory to his name. You don't understand because maybe you forgot where you came from. I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus so sweetly abides within. There at the cross where he took me in. He took me in church. He took me in when I was unworthy. When I was not qualified. When I had no value to the kingdom. He took me in. And so I seek glory to his name. Not glory to me. Not praises unto me. But glory to his name. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Oh precious fountain that saves from sin. I am so glad that I have entered in. That Jesus saves and he keeps me from sin. Glory to his name. Could we lift our hands right now and just begin to glorify the name of the Lord? Glorify the name of the Lord. Glorify the name. Oh, come to this fountain so rich and so sweet. Cast thy poor soul at the Savior's feet. Plunge in today and be made complete. Oh, glory to his name. Hallelujah. I heard you, Brother Johnny. Oh, glory to his name. Glory to his name. There is a shout in me that you cannot rob from me. There's a praise in my lips that you cannot steal because of what Jesus has done. I don't know about you. I remember how they said to Moses, the Lord said to Moses, take off your shoes, your own holy ground, because sometimes you praise and you may step out of your shoes. You may have to get out because they may slow you down. They may hold you back. Somebody needs to realize you've stepped in the holy of the holies by the grace of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, lift, lift your hands to the Lord right now. Lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. The power of the Lord is here so, so deep right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's just pray.
says, follow me. Well, let's worship the Lord. Was the blood applied? Glory to his name, glory to his name, glory to his name, there to my heart was the blood of Just our voices. Glory to His name. Feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to Lift those voices in chorus right now. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory. The Holy Ghost is about to fall in just a moment. I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus so sweetly abides within. There at the cross where he took me. Oh, glory to his name. With chorus, everybody. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood. Now just begin to thank God for that. Glory to him. Begin to thank him for that right now. Begin to thank him for the blood. Begin to thank him for the mercy. Hallelujah. Begin to thank him for every time he's reached for you. Thank God right now for every time he's seen you in a gutter. And he reached for you. Almighty God. 
Oh, precious fountain that saves from sin. I am so glad I have entered in. There Jesus saves and keeps me clean. Glory to his name. Oh, hallelujah. Let's just stop and love God. Oh, the ha, the power of God is so real. The love of God is so real. Oh, you better find him right now because he's reaching out. Open your eyes to what he wants to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Brother David, I want you to get ready. I want the ushers to come at this time. There is such, such an unction of the Lord here in this place. There is such a liberty to speak. Oh God, have your way. Let's bow our heads. We're going to pray over this offering. Church, I ask that you give faithfully and liberally as the Lord has blessed you according to Scripture. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, asking, Lord, that you anoint this offering and bless it for your glory. Those that have to give, God, I ask, Lord, that you would strengthen them to give out of a glad heart. And, Lord, those that are struggling in faith to be obedient to the word and giving, that you would help their unbelief. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's, let's bring our offering up. As she plays something soft, Brother David's getting ready to come this morning. Who knows there's such a powerful presence of God here today. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. I'd like to take a minute to thank my pastor for the opportunity forced upon me this morning to speak. But I trust my pastor. could we can turn to the book of John chapter 15 verses 2 through 5 and it says every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches, and he that abideth in, abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. And for without me, ye can do nothing, so I'm going to speak for a couple minutes this morning on I have nothing. When pastor, pastor actually called me, and you may be seated this morning. Pastor called and asked me to speak last week, and I told him I had nothing. And I've 
spoke many times. It's been a little while. And I just told him, I, usually when he, when he calls and asks me to speak on something, God's already given me something or laid something on my heart that I feel like, hey, when Pastor calls, this is what I'm going to go with. And, and I told him that I just really didn't have anything to go off of. I didn't, like, it, reading my Bible and nothing's jumped out at me. Nothing's just seemed like, oh, there, next time he asks me to speak, I'll, I'll go on and start working on this or I'll start working on that. And I really felt like I just had nothing. And he, I didn't want to turn him down. He's my pastor. I love him. I trust him. And, and I know he needs help sometimes. And, and if he calls and asks me to speak, he's either heard from the Lord or he's just worn down and, and needs somebody to step in for him for a minute. And, and I was just really struggling with it. I just felt like I just really had absolutely nothing to come up here and say, even though I'm, I'm up here and I play the drums and I sing and, and I give it everything I have, sometimes it just felt like I had nothing to come up here and, and speak on. And so my loving wife messaged him without me knowing and said, hey, just push him a little harder. He just needs a little, he needs a little encouraging and he'll. Who told you that? She did. She did. We're honest with each other. So I, I started getting frustrated and, and I was just like, Rachel, I don't have anything. There's, there's nothing for me to get up there and talk about. Nothing for me to get up there and say and other than to just get up here and, and say something. And I didn't feel like that would be right. That's not what I had done before. And, and I just had nothing. And so I started to get mad. And she messaged Pastor back and said, hey, quit pushing. It's not working. It's, it's going the opposite direction we thought it would. Then I called him and told him to quit whining. He called me and told me to quit whining. I told him I wasn't mad at him. But, but I just I had a little attitude in me. And it, it wasn't nothing to do with him. Um. So then he, he accepted me turning it down finally and didn't push me any further. And then Saturday he asked me again. He said, hey, you think you could have something for Sunday? And I said, I'll think about it. I said, I don't have nothing, but I'll think about it, and I'll get back with you. And I got up Saturday, or it was, maybe it was Friday. It was Friday he asked me. And I got up Saturday. I prayed about it. I did my Bible reading and listened to some other preachers preaching. Maybe something they'll say will just miraculously jump out and, and God will say, hey, that's it. Go with that. And and again, I just felt like there was there was nothing I was getting a clear answer on going with. And so about middle of the day, I was talking to my wife and I was like, well, I need to let Pastor know. I don't need to wait till tonight to let him know that he's going to have to preach in the morning that I'm going to decline again. And so I, I sat out in the car while she went in and just sat there and just, God, why don't I have anything? Why, why is there nothing that just stands out as like before, like what I used to do? or And, and still nothing, nothing jumped out to me, nothing, nothing crazy. But I said, you know what, I'm just going to call my pastor and tell him, Hey, I have nothing, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. And from there, God started moving on me to show me that the nothing that I was looking at was just full of opportunity. Somewhere in that time, he started changing my thoughts, and I was looking at the nothing that I had a little different. God didn't need me to say, oh, I have something. I'm ready. I was waiting on you, God. That's not what God needed from me. God needed me to say that I was willing. And I believe there's other people here today that feel that they have nothing to give or little to give and what they have may be meaningless to the kingdom of God. It's nothing to be embarrassed of. 
If this is something you've struggled with, I believe most everybody has struggled with this. If you haven't, let me know how you've done it. But if we could, please stand. If this is something that you're going through or went through recently, it's nothing to be embarrassed of. I'm up here most Sundays, and some people are probably surprised to hear me even say I was dealing with this yesterday, and I'm up here preaching today. But if there's anybody here that feels strongly that they're dealing with that or have dealt with it recently, these altars are open now. God's not looking for what you have or what you can offer Him in the normal things that we just think of. God can't use our pride if we get in our own way. He can't use our arrogance. As verse five, 4 and 5 said, the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. God knows that we can't do anything without him. And in verse 5 it said, for without me, ye can do nothing. Without me, ye can do nothing. God's not expecting us to come up here and just perform things and do things unless we're connected to him. He knows that without him that we're nothing. God needs nothing from us. There's nothing we can do to make ourselves worthy of what God has for us. In the beginning was God. God can speak to nothing. God can speak to the nothing in your life today. God is looking for people that are willing and understand that God can take my nothing and create everything with it. In the beginning was God. And there was nothing, and he spoke directly into it. And we have everything that we see and experience today from absolutely nothing. We need to understand that it's not by might or by our power, but it's by the power of God and the Spirit of God. It's not by our power. It's not by my talent. It's not by anything I have to give, but it's by the Spirit of God this morning. And if I could get a few people that believe that this morning, to flood these altars this morning and to tell God, God, I have nothing this morning, but it's all because of you, God. I have nothing, but it's because of you, Jesus. It's because you spoke into my life. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't have a wife. I wouldn't have a family, but it's because God spoke into my life and I made myself a willing vessel that I have everything that I have today. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just lift our hands and praise God one more time today. Jesus, Lord, we worship you, God. God's wanting to speak to somebody today. Just reach out and reach for God this morning. Tell God, I have nothing that you need from me, God. But I need everything from you today, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our hearts are full of faith. We have our full attention. You have the fire. Jesus, come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. Come on, we bring everything to the feet of Jesus this morning. We're nothing without you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. This is a house of miracles. Somebody press in the Holy Ghost. Everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. And this is a house of miracles. There's nothing you're going through today that God cannot reach down and speak into. 
Demon trembles. Hey, Toby. Come on, somebody proclaim the name of Jesus this morning. This is a house of healing this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whose heart is full of faith this morning? Come on, just reach out and call on the name of Jesus. God has our attention this morning. And he has the final say. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. And this is a house of miracles. And we bring everything to the feet of Jesus, everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. There's resurrection power. And your blood runs through our veins. Your kingdom triumphs over. And the coldest grave Come alive in the name of Jesus Come alive in the name of Jesus This is a house of miracles We bring everything to the feet of Jesus Come on, just reach out your hands and pray. If you're not at these altars, pray for the people at the altars this morning. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. I still believe you're moving. I still believe you're speaking. God, I believe you're working all things for good. I fix my eyes on heaven. God, I receive your vision. God, I believe you're working all things for good. Who believes God's still moving this morning? God, we still believe you're moving this morning. God, we believe you're speaking in our lives this morning. God, please work things for my good, Jesus. God, someone fix your eyes on heaven this morning. Lord, receive God's vision for your life this morning. God, I believe you're working all things for good. And we sing in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. And this is a house of miracles. And we bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. This is a house of worship. This is a place of praise. Come on, somebody praise God this morning. Where every team. And every demon trembles at the name of Jesus. And you have the name, your name. And this is a house of healing. And our hearts are full of faith. 
and you have our full attention and you have the final say we say come alive in the name of Jesus come alive in the name of Jesus and this is a house of miracles we bring everything to the feet of Jesus everything in the name of Jesus this is a house of miracles and there's resurrection power and your blood runs through our veins your kingdom triumphs his kingdom triumphs even the coldest of graves even the coldest graves and we sing come alive in the name of Jesus come alive in the name of Jesus this is a house of miracles we bring everything to the feet of Jesus everything that we name of Jesus this is a house of miracles come on sing this bridge with us I still believe you're moving and I still believe you're speaking God I believe you're working all things for good and I fix my eyes on heaven God I receive your vision God, I believe you're working all things for good. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. To the Lord. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. 
mighty God that prays your name. Before we dismiss today, I want to do two things. Two things. First off, I want to, we got a, a minister here. Um, I, I had to catch the name. Um, but Brother Dave, David Estes. Actually, small world. We went to church together or a fellowship. Yeah, fellowship in Mississippi together. He's in town. His mother's correct mother is at UAB Hospital. Um, Greek brother, do you want to share a word of testimony? not bad, Sister Kay, I promise. Whenever I do things off the cuff, she says, oh Lord, what's he about to do now? I want to bring up a few people. Bro Brother uh, Jeremy Brown, come on up here for just a second. Um, brother and sister, I'm looking for the, the keys. Y'all come up here just a second. And I'm looking for the glasses. The glass, the, the glasses. The gla however you, you know, I'm not sure. Y'all come up here real quick. I'm looking. If I miss anybody, Forgive me. Oh, yes. Katie. I mean, you, Katie got here sooner, so we can count her. I'm looking. And we, uh, the woods are not here this morning. Um, and we do have a lot out. So, what? Well, <clears throat> the only way you get into the kingdom of God is you've got to be born again. Right? You've got to be born again. You don't join the church of the living God by signing a roll. But the Bible does speak of extending the right hand of fellowship. And so, oh, oh, some of these people, they're all fairly new to the church. Um, Katie, you've been here a while. I mean, you, you, everybody knows you. But Brother and Sister Keen uh, from Jenna, Louisiana, they are new. They're finally here. Brother Jeremy Brown, my, my younger aunt, um, she's younger than me. I don't know how. I give, I give her and Marcia a hard time all the, as to how my young aunt's doing. Um, but my Aunt Cindy Glass and Uncle Toby Glass um, as well. So glad to have them all worshiping with us and being a part here. If Some of you may know them, and that's okay. That's okay. Some of you may not. And as we get ready to play our way out today, I'd like for those of you uh, that maybe don't know them or haven't got a chance to meet them yet, come by, shake their hand, welcome them to the fellowship if we can. Um, we're, now, we are praying for my Uncle Toby, a job. He's got a job. We're praying for the Lord to work in that situation. We want God's perfect will. He's uh, There's nobody looks any tireder at the end of the day than my Uncle Toby. I've seen pictures of I said, man, what are they doing? They're killing me. But uh, he's having to work out of town a lot. And so we're just praying that the Lord helps him in that. Oh, Brother Crowder, get up here. Yeah. Fairly new. Look at him. He's struggling. And if you don't know why he's struggling so bad, he was performing some unsafe acts at work. OSHA violations. <laughs> and it's on closed circuit television recording, and I've seen it. And he is right now, and I want you to be praying for him, because he is bruised from about right here to here. And when I say bruised, it is the Biggest bruise I've ever seen in my life. It is dark purple, and it is a one solid bruise, that long, that tall, all the way around his body. It is awful. And he stove up. And he's going to carefully consider that what they say on that ladder about three points a con. To make matters worse, when he fell, the first person that got there was one of the company lawyers. You know what the lawyer said? You're fired before you hit the ground. Amen. But I want us, if we can, especially if you've never had a chance to meet them, come behind them and greet them, love them, introduce yourself. Make sure. Uh, and this is biblical. The Bible speaks of the right hand of fellowship. So let's stand together. We're going to pray.
and dismissed. But, but as we walk our way out, I ask you to greet them in an orderly fashion. Tell them you love them. Tell them your name. Uh, tell them you'll buy them lunch sometime. I'd have thought I'd have got at least seven amen. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and your mercy, the abundance of every blessing. God, we thank you for what you're doing in the house. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Young girls, remember, y'all got a party. Greet these folks in Jesus' name. Love you, brother.